It's the early 1930s, and as America is in the midst of a battle with booze, in New York, the city has its very own battle on its hand, the battle for supremacy of the skies. Except, this wasn't one fought with planes, but with skyscrapers. This battle, dubbed the Race to the Sky, would see New York's wealthy pit against each other with the title of who could build the world's tallest building up for grabs. The award was first taken by 40 Wall Street in Lower Manhattan, which stood at 283 metres. This was then surpassed by the Chrysler Building at 319 metres. However, there was a building in the pipeline which was to blow both these buildings out of the water, to take the crown, and to be the first building to surpass 100 floors. This was to be the Empire State Building. The origins of the Empire State Building begin on the site of the former location of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. With the owner of the land, the Astor family, decided to shut up shop as the area was not swanky anymore and relocate the hotel further uptown to where the action was. This meant the land the hotel sat on was subsequently sold to Empire State Inc. in 1929, which was a group made up of wealthy investors. The group's initial plans were to build a 50-storey skyscraper and take the title of the world's tallest building, but the Chrysler building had other ideas, so it was eventually increased to 102 floors. The man who would design the building was an American chap called Homer G. Balcom, whose structural engineering experience was as impressive as his moustache, with his design for the building following the pattern of how numerous skyscrapers are built. This consisted of an internal steel skeleton, which takes the loads of the building, which is then encased by a brick facade, which does not take any of the main structural loads, and is just there to make the building look pretty. There were many design considerations whilst constructing the Empire State Building. Zoning laws from 1916 prevented tall buildings that were being constructed from obstructing light and air down to the streets below. The consequence of this meant that the lower floors in the Empire State were to be larger than the upper floors, resulting in the building's pencil-like shape. The building was also to have a 63 meter antenna with its original use to allow airships to dock onto the building However, this was eventually dropped as it was realised that docking airships to skyscrapers was probably not the best idea with all that wind and all being that high up. Demolition works on the Waldorf Astoria Hotel began on the 1st of October 1929. However, on October the 29th, the building's fortunes would take a complete nosedive with a crash on the New York Stock Exchange, making new office space about as attractive as a Starbucks in Williamsburg. However, as a halted construction would have resulted in greater losses for investors, the work on the building would plough on. Construction on the building began on the 17th of March 1930, with the construction on the steel skeleton starting on the 1st of April 1930. The building of the steel skeleton was rapid, with four and a half storeys being completed weekly. By June the 20th, the steel structure had risen to the 26th floor and the steel structure of the building, 319 metres in height, was topped out on the 19th of September, 23 weeks after construction commenced. 54,780 tonnes of steel was gobbled up by the Empire State Building, more steel than 40 Wall Street and the Chrysler Building combined. The speed of construction of the building was helped by precise organisation of the building's planning, a very organised workforce which was 3,500 people at peak of construction and mass producing common materials which were used on the building such as windows. Canteens were set up every five floors and water taps were installed to ensure workers would not have any excuse to descend to the ground level which was great for reducing time lost by workers. The building was one of the first projects to employ fast track construction which is starting a construction on the project before the design is fully complete. This is done to reduce delays and ballooning costs and was a strategy that proved to be immensely successful on the Empire State, with the building opening 45 days early and coming under budget, costing $41 million instead of the estimated $60 million. The Empire State Building opened on the 1st of May 1931 by President Herbert Hoover who had the privilege of pushing the button to turn on the building's lights from Washington DC. Since its opening, the building has grown into an icon for both New York City 
and America, with a 2007 survey finding that it was America's favourite building. It has also held the title of world's tallest building for nearly 40 years until 1970 and is a fine example of multi-storey building design and construction.